Would you look at that? <laughs> Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. I mentioned that my friend Teiji introduced me to a number of individuals in the Japanese custom lure building and vintage fishing community. One of those was Mr. Shida, who hand builds and hand paints some truly exquisite creations. Mr. Sheeta and I had a little trade across the sea and he sent me a package with a couple of Voodoo Chili Lures inside. I'm gonna open this package to show you the Voodoo Chili Lures inside. And of course, uh, I engaged Mr. Sheeta in a little bit of a Q&A and I'll show that as well. I think I mentioned one of the things that really drew me to the Japanese custom lure building market is the dedication that these individuals put into their craft. I've seen Mr. Shida's process as he hand carves and hand paints these baits and oh, it is truly a thing of beauty. So first things first is a little package from the lure builder. What is in here? A couple of sticker packs. Oh, check it out. What does this say? Uh, Voodoo Fat Bass Sticker and Button Badge Set. <laughs> There's a couple of these, and I'm definitely going to slap these on a tackle box, so I will open one of them for the camera right now. Well, there's a pretty sweet slap with the Voodoo Chili logo. And there's Mr. Shida himself probably hand painting. Wait till you see these things. One of these amazing lures. Oh. There's another pretty sweet sticker. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> and, ooh, nice little button as well. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So the interesting thing about these voodoo chili lures, and we'll get to it in the Q&A, but it is so clear to see where Mr. Shida drew his inspiration from in designing these lures. You can tell that if he was ever at an NFL CC meeting, you know exactly, exactly what booth he'd be at. Where do I start? We'll start with this one. There are three baits in here. Uh, first one says that this is a Voodoo Chili handmade lure. Model type. Uh, this is the Areno type bait. Yep. Color red dot. 90 millimeters. <laughs> You'll see what this thing is. Oh my goodness. So here is a hand-carved, hand-painted, hand-drawn, and then hand-painted, Bassarino style bait. This is a solid block of wood. You can hear it there. It's got a set of really good-looking eyes, and uh, just look at the detail of that. I'll try not to pull this thing off camera too, too often. I just want to get a closer look myself. But look at that bait. Oh my goodness. And I don't know if that glows or not. I'll have to check it out. 
but that is a really, really nice bait. Truth be told, I've actually got some Bassarinos in my arsenal that I've been meaning to throw, and I have not done so. This would be some good inspiration to dust off that bait as well. I'm pretty sure this style of bait, you fish it as sort of a diving topwater. It floats, it doesn't dive that deep, but I think you probably can give it some sharp twitches or sweeps of the rod. It'll dive down and float up. Or if you fish it really slow, it might just sort of gurgle up top. Uh, but that is... <laughs> it's a piece of art. So the next bait is a baby NWF. The color is Tropical Fish. It is an 85 millimeter, 23 gram bait. Wait till you see this lure, you'll immediately know from where he got the inspiration. Well, Bassett Buds, if that does not resemble a old school wooden creek chub wiggle fish, I don't know what does. That is one of the coolest creations I think I've ever seen. Hand drawn detail there. It's a two part body. Wood design, it's got a single double hook on it, and I'll take off the hook protectors. Sticky sharp. It's got a nice metal diving bill, a joint, and oh, that old clacker tail. I just happen to have a actual creek chub wiggle fish as well, so we'll do a little side-by-side -side right now. And you can see the original bait and the uh, Mr. Shida Voodoo Chili inspired bait. So here is a Creek Chub Wiggle Fish that I've got in the box and I'll take it out now. <laughs> There's our wooden Wiggle Fish. Old school model that I wish they still made, but they don't. And here is Mr. Sheeta's version. I'll try to hold these two up side by side. <laughs> How cool is that? Old school, new school, but that thing is OG in spirit. And now the last lure from Voodoo Chili. This is a model APW. It is in a bass color, 85 millimeter, 27 grams. Now, his previous two baits definitely had some vintage inspired designs. This thing, I feel like it's been inspired by something in outer space. This is one of the wildest creations that I've seen. And I was so excited when he informed me he was going to send me one of these baits. Isn't that a wild creation? <sighs> Clearly, this is some sort of wake bait, surface crankbait. It's got a shallow metal lip. Oh my goodness, look at that. What a wild design, a really, really big head, narrows down into a tail, and look at that, it's got a propeller off the tip of the bait. It's got a pair of double hooks on it, and I was really excited to throw the other two Voodoo Chili baits, but I think this is the bait I'm gonna have to lead off with. Look at that thing. Mr. Sheeta was kind enough to answer several of the questions that I had, as well as provide some photos of Voodoo Chili lures in the lure making process. First question I had to ask is, how long have you been designing lures? According to Mr. Sheeta, he's been designing Voodoo Chili lures for the past nine years. Next question, your lures look very intricate. Can you describe your building process? Well, according to Mr. Shida, each Voodoo Chili Lure is hand-carved, hand-drawn, and hand-painted. The process for making each lure is very time-consuming, so production is most limited. 
I asked Mr. Shida where he gets inspiration for his lore designs, and unsurprisingly, he says that he gets most of them from vintage American lures like the Wigglefish and the Bassarino. Next question, what are some of your favorite vintage lures from the United States? Mr. Shida answered unsurprisingly, the Creek Chub Wigglefish and lures with natural designs like vintage headings and rebel lures. And of course, for anglers outside of Japan, how can they get a hold of Voodoo Chili Lures? Well, Mr. Shida says that all you have to do is go ahead and private message him on Instagram and he will get you hooked up. Well, Mr. Shida, thank you again for sending a few of your amazing creations my way. I cannot wait to get these baits on the water and do a little retro bassin. <laughs>so this voodoo chili lore is in a bassarino style and to be honest i don't really know how to fish a bassarino i've got a couple but i've never thrown them enough to really learn how best to fish with them so in preparation for today's trip i was doing a little bit of internet research last night and listening to a lot of the i'll assume old timers talk about how to throw this thing the key is to cast a bassarino out let it sit there for about as long as you can stand it, often upwards of a minute, and then give it a couple of short jerks. That's gonna make the lure dive, float up, and then repeat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. <laughs> what did I get? Oh, son. That is about the biggest sunfish I have ever seen. <laughs> On the voodoo chili. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. That is a like a franken sunfish. I have never seen a sunfish that big. It looks like a red ear sunfish to me. Oh my God. You would think that this lure would be too big for this guy, but honestly, that kind of works. Wow. I think 90% of the bass I catch on this channel are smaller than that sunfish. Whew. Let's look at this guy. Whoo! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a beaut, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Mr. Sheeta, thank you very much for the monster Texas sunfish. See, I guess everything is bigger in Texas, huh? <laughs> Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.